Perhaps are the best way to impress your guests and add a little something special to your party menu. And here is Nikki with her favorite. So there are so many great food hacks here yes. that you're going to want to do to cut down your time when you're actually entertaining because you don't want to be stressed out. Right. Okay, so we're going to start, start with we're going to start with dessert actually and work our way up to the appetizers. That's okay? how I like to do things. Yes. Let's so, start with dessert. We are making one ingredient um, ice cream. Nice. Now I'm going to warn you in advance. Um, yes. My my um, bananas yes are have defrosted. Right. So <laughs> just imagine. Right. So what you're going to yeah. start with is with uh, banana. Okay. And that's your one ingredient. And you're going to slice it fairly finely. Right. And. And this is supposed, is this supposed this to be is, frozen? Yes. Okay, we're all So pretending. the reason you're slicing it before you freeze it is because it's easier to portion out. Okay. So you can take a little bit at a time. So okay. imagine these were frozen, they were yes. earlier. Yes. Wow. Okay. Hot studio lights, guys, that's what happens. <laughs> Things so, melt. You, you put your frozen bananas inside your blender. Okay. And get your blender going. Away. And eventually it turns into this, but frozen. It right. It actually looks like ice cream. <laughs> and right. And it's delicious. So this is actually... That's all it takes to make, like, banana ice cream? It's, you know what? It, it actually doesn't taste just like banana. You can okay. add anything to it. You add vanilla, it tastes like vanilla ice cream. It doesn't... Oh. The banana is not so powerful. So adding chocolate into it. So if we add cocoa powder yes. into this and mix this, we literally will have chocolate, chocolate ice, ice cream. cream. Right. So, so the consistency will be a little bit more dense, but that's amazing because banana is actually a fairly strong flavor. I'm surprised that it's... It, the banana goes away. Right, you don't taste it much at all, actually. Yum. Like, it doesn't even taste like banana chocolate ice cream. It, it tastes like, like chocolate. chocolate. Right, it really does. Well, to me, anyway. I'm sold. And you know, this is amazing because That's I'm great. lactose intolerant and I have a sweet oh. tooth. So this is what I usually do at home because I want to be able to have my ice cream. That is so yeah, smart. So it works out perfectly. Okay. And it turns out you put your toppings on it, put some chocolate or mint on it, and yeah. there you go. Okay, perfect. I'll just take some of this with me. <laughs> okay, so our next um, hack has to do with, is it, are we doing waffles? Yes, we're making easy waffles. Yeah. So this this is going to be our dessert waffle. Yes. And you know what? These are what these are kids, um, cinnamon rolls. Mm. The, the raw ones. And okay. you just put them on your, your waffle, waffle maker. So no, you don't have to whip up batter. No cracking eggs. Nothing. Excellent. And you pop this down. And literally, by the time we like garnish our plate here. Yeah. So we put a little bit of the. Dust. I, I honestly have no clue what I'm doing, but that, I think that sure. looks kind of pretty, pretty right? <laughs> Nikki and I, Nikki, and, Nikki told me, uh, she's like, I don't like cooking, but that's why hacks are for us. Yeah, I like right? plating. I think plating is the best because it makes so you make it look really pretty, but mm -hmm. so we let that go a little bit, and when you lift it up within a minute, you have these beautiful um, waffles. Top them, put some strawberries, put some beautiful. raspberries on there, and you're good to go. So she even has some figs. She put some beautiful fresh fruit on there, and it's just the prepackaged cinnamon dough. That's all. Oh my gosh, that is really, really good. I'm now gonna, I need a waffle maker. I'm gonna maker. lift this up so that we don't burn as we go along. Smart idea. Now, okay, oh. so moving right along, yes. let's talk about um, doing a burger. Yes. But we are going to make it out of portobello mushroom. Yes. Right? I actually, this blows my mind. I love this. I, um, for all those gluten intolerant people yes. and people that are watching carbs, this is the perfect way to do your burger. So you get a really large portobello mushroom and you want to dust it with some oil. Mm-hmm. And this is the thing that people love about portobello mushrooms. I mean, so they're versatile. so thick and they're so dense that you actually don't necessarily miss. You can use it in as the actual burger or as the bun. You don't necessarily miss having that carb. Right. Or so just, they say. Actually, I'm going to put some more oil. Apparently, Apparently you don't miss having the carb. You do it at the same time so the oil kind of sticks. There we go. That's better. Okay. So you put oil and you put your seeds on top so you kind of make it look like a... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we would do at home. Yes, so. Cares. Don't worry about so, it. So, and then you put this in the oven 20 minutes. Um, okay. And this is what this is what you turn out with. So look at that. That looks like a bun, right? That looks like a bun. So I was walking by this, and I said, oh my gosh, look at these buns. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. It's supposed to be mushrooms. Right. It's mushrooms. And so is this, is this like a vegan uh, uh, no, veggie burger? No, I like, I like meat. So. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we put our... We put our um, I think maybe I'll put some lettuce first. Yes. Yes, and then we put our tomato. Let's be on healthy. There. And we build you can that put up. Your, um, a little bit of Dijon. Oh my gosh, did I get you? This no, is... you didn't get me. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, it's an occupational hazard. It's fine. And there you go. You have your your burger. That is so good. That's <laughs> yeah, good. That's good. 
stay. Can I grab this? Yeah. Awesome. You stay. Okay, now we all know people love hummus. We know our viewers love yes. hummus, especially if you can take hummus and elevate it and right. sort of take it to the next level. Every dinner party always has that sad hummus, like the hummus sad. in the bowl with the, with the carrots and the celery. So yeah. we're going we're gonna to do better. Okay, we're, we're going to do, do better. better. Let's so do better. We're going to take our biggest, most beautiful plate or bowl, yes. and we're going to put hummus right in the middle of it. Ooh, A nice. lot of hummus. Okay. And then we do that kind of icing thing, you know, when it, you kind of make it look nice and... You spread it out. Yeah. See, you're in your element now. Yes. This is presentation. And you just bought the hummus. You didn't make the no, hummus, I right? The hummus. I yeah, let's the hummus, not get yeah. silly. <laughs> All right? You go to the store and you buy the hummus. And we're Sorry. making sweet and savory. So we're just going to add, literally, just add um, your fruits and your veg onto it. Okay. So you ha add a little bit of cucumber. We have some corn on there. You get some corn. We'll add some figs on there. And we're there. doing both all together? Yeah. Like, you want me to put some apricots? Absolutely. Okay. Just throw that on there. All right. I've never seen hummus what done like this. What else do we this. want to put on there? Um, I don't know. If it was me, I'd put a chocolate bar on there. You know there. what? We're going we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna to have a with problem. Some, with some flowers. Yeah. We're going to put a little bit of our olive oil on there just to meld everything together. Nice. I think maybe that was too much, but I think That's it's okay. good. That's okay. And then our seeds. Isn't that pretty? Nice. That's really beautiful. Yeah. And you've also found some, are these edible flowers? Edible flowers, yep. Yeah. Some edible flowers. You also have some feta if you want to go right. there, some chives. You can actually just mix it up according to whatever, whatever you like, whatever exactly. your tastes are. But what's cool about all of these is that they're all, I think they're all crowd pleasers. Right. You know, and we were talking a little bit about entertaining. The best thing you can do as a host is be relaxed when your right. guests come. They don't want the, you know, you've got rollers in your hair and you're sweating and there's flour on your upper <laughs> lip. That's not a good look. Right. So you want to be able to chill and have a good party. Thank you for the food hacks. Yeah.